What's up, guys? This is T.224NYC from Stream Kings. Um, today, we're going to be doing a special video today. Uh, we're going to be doing the install of, in my opinion, one of the most popular, one of the most reliable, one of the most aesthetically pleasing bills in Cody right now today. Um, this is going to be the Jason Diggs build. Uh, it's called Xenon. <clears throat> Multiple in... Uh, Looks like uh, we have multiple versions of the build available, um, depending on what type of device you have. So this developer has been um, up and coming for quite some time. I've been following his work for, I guess, the past three, four months now. Um, and, and each revision of the build just keeps getting better and better and better. Currently, I'm using my Windows PC uh, to do these videos as well as to um, run this version of Kodi. But I also have a NVIDIA Shield, Fire Stick, and the Amazon Fire TV box for my three TVs that I use. Um, this build is very, very special. I'm just gonna show you, show you guys. Uh, we're gonna do a quick install. I do a quick review of the build. Um, I like to do things a little bit backwards. I'll show you how to install it and then we'll do a quick quick uh, walk for you, walk through of the actual build. This build is available for download in the Ares Wizard. My opinion, Ares Wizard is a dying beast. Um, they, there are lots and lots and lots of other wizards around uh, to use to house builds and stuff. But in my opinion, this has been one of the most reliable ones um, out there to use to house data. So we'll quickly get started. Um, you actually have to do this from a fresh install of Kodi. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is prepare your Kodi for the installation. To do that, what you're going to want to do is click add-ons. And then go into settings. Under the add-on section, I always click show notifications. And this is the main one you have to select. The option that you want to install unknown sources onto your Kodi. So once that's all done, uh, back out to the main screen, go into settings, file manager, add source, and the source we're adding is the Aries Wizard. So it's HTTP colon forward slash forward slash repo dot Aries dash project dot com forward slash magic. So once you get that all in, go ahead and click OK. And it'll automatically give it a name. It'll call it magic. You can leave it or just change it to whatever you want to name it. And that's fine. Once you have your name in. Go ahead and hit OK. And go ahead and hit the back button. Hit the back button again. Click add-ons. And then click this little box up here in the top left-hand corner. You're going to select the option to install from zip. You're going to click magic or whatever you named it. Then you're going to click repository.aries project. Then you're going to click repository.aries project.zip. And it'll take a moment, but any moment now you'll get a pop-up in the top right-hand corner that the repository has been enabled. There we go. And you're going to select the option to install from repository, select the Aries project, then select program add-ons, select the Aries wizard. And mine is already installed, um, so you're going to want to select the option to install, which is going to be here. Once you install it, select the option on the far left, which is the option to open. <clears throat> if you're using Kodi 17, you'll get this message that says you're using an unstable version of code. Kodi, please be aware that all functions may not work properly. Continue at your own risk. Looks like Aries hasn't updated as yet to... Um, for uh, Aries not to throw this message. Um, Aries works totally fine on Kodi 17. So 
So just go ahead and click OK to dismiss. Once you click OK to dismiss that message, it'll take maybe about 10 or 15 seconds or so. Then the Aries wizard should open up for you. Okay, now once Aries is open, you'll have a bunch of options in the top. Select the option to browse bills. And the bill that we want is down here towards the bottom. We're gonna select the Jed's fire bills. <coughs> Excuse me. As I mentioned before, there are lots of different versions of this thing. The main one that we're going for is uh, Xenon. Uh, he has Xenon for Jarvis, Xenon Triple X, but what I'm going to be installing today, and you can install any of these, any of the Xenon builds, if you want Triple X, that's fine, if you, want with, if you want it with retro gaming, that's fine, but because I'm using a Windows PC, I'm going to select the Xenon Gaming Edition for Windows. I'm going to click on it. Uh, the install. Make sure um, whatever build you chose is over here on the left hand, on the right hand side of Aries. Then select the option to install. My internet connection is really, really fast. So I can download this in probably less than a minute or so. As you can see, the build is very large. Um, depending on what device you're using to install this build, it may be smaller or larger. If it's an Android, I would assume it's gonna be a little bit smaller. The build would automatically download, and once it's done downloading, it'll start to unpack the zip file into your Kodi. So that's what it's doing now. Stay with me, guys. I've installed this build everywhere. I installed it on my Fire Stick. It works really well. Uh, the NVIDIA Shield runs it smoothly as well. Um, the retro gaming on the NVIDIA Shield is absolutely amazing. Um, you can play any games from, you know, Nintendo, Atari, ColecoVision, uh, TurboGrafx-16, Sega Genesis, um, you know, all those old school games from Nintendo, uh, Super Nintendo, you name it, it's, it's, it's there. Um, Jason Diggs was really nice enough to include video tutorials with that. That's actually built into the build, built into the build. Can you say that? Yeah, whatever. But it's actually built into the build. So you can actually watch the video tutorial and he actually will walk you through the process on how to install and use the gaming portion of the build based on the type of device that you actually have. So, that, so I thought that was really nice. Triple um, X is included, vast section. It's enough content to kill somebody. Um, looks like the build is mainly based around the Exodus add-on, uh, but he does actually have a lot of other... Uh, you know, movie add-ons, TV add-ons, a lot of live TV add-ons. A lot of live TV, believe it or not, it actually does work, and it works really well. I haven't had, um, I don't have a use to, a use for the live TV. You know, mainly my setup at home is, you know, I have basic cable. I don't have their, I don't subscribe to their DVR service. So, you know, if I miss something, you know, I just go ahead and watch it on Cody, which is nine times out of ten. You know, I, I watch... Cody all the time for my TV. So we're about halfway done with the extraction here. But if you guys are interested and you're looking for a um, an Android box, and from my experience, most people, their introduction to Cody is with the most inexpensive device on the market, which is the Fire Stick. 
Uh, people use the fire sticks. Sometimes using Cody on those fire sticks, um, you know, it does leave a bad taste in some folks' mouths. Um, Cody is a very, very popular program. Um, to be candid, the fire stick is a great device, but it is an entry-level Cody device. It will run Cody, but you want to keep in mind that it does not have a lot of memory, doesn't have a lot of RAM, it does not have a lot of processing power, so... You know, sometimes the experience is lackluster when you attempt to run these larger bills with, you know, these bills that have a lot of things going on in the background, um, a heavy uh, a heavy skin or a heavy Cody overlay, I should say. It really does slow down that fire stick tremendously. I mean, to be honest, there are some bills, some of the newer bills for Cody 17 that have come out recently. I wouldn't even attempt to run them on my fire stick. You know, I kind of stick with you know, some of the smaller uh, bills. So if you're interested, um, the NVIDIA Shield is a great buy. I There's nothing I've thrown at that device that it couldn't handle. Um, also, if you want to spend a little, if you don't want to spend the money for the NVIDIA Shield, then I would go with the Amazon Fire TV box. It's about double the price for the Fire Stick, but you get double the power and, you know, it, it, it works really well. All right. Looks like we're just about done. Once the extraction is fit, has finished, you'll get a message that says, do you want to back up the Skinner profile? Go ahead and say no. Then you'll get another message that will say, Cody needs to be closed. Go ahead and select the option OK to close your Cody. And you're going to want to relaunch your Cody. Really nice boot animation. This build is a great build, but it's one that when it, the build starts up, is very, very slow. Um, so I'm going to give it a moment to do its updates, etc. Zach, as you can see, the background skin hasn't even loaded yet. Sorry, guys, I'm not feeling too well. <sighs> I know that's like really gross. But this is mainly how I'm spending my day. I'm just kind of recovering from this cold I got and just kind of hanging out at the house. But yeah, like I mentioned, man, this build is honestly amazing. Um, Jason Diggs is a hell of a developer. One hell of a developer. So on the main page, <coughs> we have um, in the Explore section, we have a, a menu that hovers above 24-7 uh, shows, 3D and 4K movies, comedy, animation, audiobooks, box sets, classic TV, crime and gangster documentaries, fitness, uh, food, wine, and cooking. If you want to learn how to cook, it's there. Then we have the retro gaming section. Place for the ladies, horror movies, uh, kids in animation. We have a Latino section, the section for the news, reality TV, sci-fi, and the list keeps going on and on and on. If you smoke a little marijuana, they have content for you. Uh, urban content is here. War and politics, westerns, Christmas. 
Let's scroll over to the movie section. There's a really good, some really good uh, add-ons here. Find a stream is fairly new. Works really well. I've used it and it works well. Of course, he has the most popular. <coughs> Excuse me again. Exodus, Specto, Maverick movies, Alpha movies, Zen movies. And then again up at the top. Uh, some of the um, the most popular movies that are out. Lower level section. Genres in theaters now. Top rated. Uh, all movie add-ons. TV shows a little bit more of the same. Uh, he has Open Load, Alpha TV Shows, Redemption, Specto, Salts, Exodus, and Zen. And then hovering at the top, uh, some of our most favorite TV shows or most popular TV shows are there. Um, you could browse the TV portal. We have genres. Uh, you can watch TV shows by the date that they aired. Top rated TV shows. TV shows in 4K, which is fairly new. I haven't seen that one out there. You can search by TV networks. Some of the most popular networks, if you have a Netflix account, go ahead and cancel it. If you have an Amazon account, go ahead and cancel it. Um, if you subscribe to HBO Showtime. I said Amazon and that thing came alive. <laughs> and this is going to be pulling from Exodus as well. As I mentioned before, um, the live TV, you're just going to want to jump in here. Uh, this works really well. Um, if you Local news by state is a great add-on. If you want to see what's going on all around the United States, that's there. Sport zone. Uh, all this stuff highlighted in green is coming from the add-on Pro Sport, which is here. Uh, we got an ESPN add-on. The brand new Sports Devil is here. Project D, which is another great add-on. <clears throat> All of the most popular streaming portals are here. YouTube, Airy Stream, Devour, Vidmax, Worldstar Hip Hop, Vice, TMZ. We got a nice kid section. Oh, let me go back. Section for the kids. This is really nice. This allows um, this your library section allows you to add uh, your favorite streams, your favorite TV shows from within Cody uh, right here. If you um, have some questions on how to do that. Yeah, Jason Diggs actually has a, um, a how-to video, which is right here on the right. The retro gaming section is here. Like I mentioned before, um, 2600 Atari, um, Nintendo Entertainment System, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, TurboGrafx-16, PlayStation 1. Internet games, arcade games, Game Gear, Sega Master System. And again, he has a, a video on how to uh, do the installation as well, depending on what device you're using. Now, I've actually heard that Jason Diggs is actually um, is actually getting his own wizard, which would be great, as opposed to using Ares all the time. Because when I installed this, it automatically told me that an update was available. So it looks like that has been included in this build. So I'm going to open this and see what's inside. The Diggs Fire Bills wizard. <coughs>
yeah, um, it looks like there is an update for the build I have, and it's available within this Jason Diggs wizard. Uh, I'm going to do some research to find out how we could get the, um, the path for this wizard as opposed to installing areas. Um, you guys should just be able to install this. And I'll go ahead and, and put a link to that in the description of this video. But again, guys, this is uh, the all-new Xenon build from J the world-famous Jason Diggs. My favorite build. Um, this is a daily driver on one of the devices I use. Again, you will not be disappointed at all in this build. It's content galore. Um, Jason Diggs is very, very accessible as well. Um, you can find him on Facebook, Twitter or all of the most popular social media. And based on my experience, he will, in fact, answer questions uh, in, the event, in the unlikely event that you have them. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And again, go ahead and smack the thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe. This is T.224NYC from Stream Kings. You guys have a good weekend. Uh, we're going to be pushing out some more videos during the course of the weekend. This is the last one for me for the day. I got to go head out and go to, to the store and get some food in this house because I am starved. Okay, guys, have a good day. Talk to you soon.